Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am not in my sewing studio, I am actually in my bathroom talking about reusable toilet paper. So first thing is, is what is family cloth or reusable toilet paper? What can be used instead of toilet paper? And I will say the reason I'm making this video is because in my area, we have no toilet paper. Um, all the stores that we hit when we go grocery shopping, I can't find any. I don't really want to travel far to go find it. And so I think we've got three or four rolls left. <laughs> And the only one that's really getting nervous is my husband because he's he's not really on board with this, but we're gonna do what we have to do. So um, what reusable toilet paper is, or what, what it's called as family cloth in the cloth world, for those that go cloth for everything um, and don't use anything disposable, is um, something you can use in place of toilet paper, which could be, today I'm using flannel, or what I'm choosing to use is flannel. You could use old t-shirts, uh, you could use a towel, um, Basically anything that you think would be okay. I wouldn't use like, you know, nobody wants to use like newspaper or copier paper or anything that is paper because it's so rough. So just be creative and find something. I mean, you're gonna use it to wipe your bottom. So just find something that you don't mind using it for that purpose and uh, something that you can just discard after toilet paper comes back into stock and life slows down for everybody again. Um, but until then, you know, this is, this is what we're gonna do. So I would say really the only con to switching to reusable toilet paper is going to be that it's not convenient. You're gonna to have to get yourself a little setup um, and it's used for number one and number two if that's how you choose to do it. Some families might just wanna use it for number one or I don't know, it's kinda of just however you guys wanna do it. We can't find toilet paper so we're gonna use it for both. Um, and then also the washing factor. So whoever gets to wash it, uh, in my family, it's, I mean, it's gonna be kind of gross, but you know what? I think I have a good setup here, which I want to show you guys. So I think it's gonna be pretty pretty easy to maintain. So the way that I have this set up is, this is the toilet we use all the time. We have two bathrooms in my house, but nobody ever uses the guest bathroom. It's always our master bathroom. Everybody showers in here. It just seems to be the main hub for business. Um, so I do have a roll of toilet paper on here and I just put a scrap of fabric over it to remind, um, I live in a house full of boys, I'm the only female, to remind everybody, this is for guests, you know, which we're not really having right now, <laughs> but this is a, like just for somebody else that comes over, I'm not about to make them use reusable toilet paper um, or family cloth. And then I also have this waste basket that I found on Amazon. I will link all this stuff below so you guys can find it, or maybe you already have this at home. The reason I got it is because it's nice and big um, and it has a flip lid. So um, there's some family cloth in here right now, so I'm not gonna show you the inside, but I just put um, just a plastic bag that I had, but you guys could also put like a drawstring bag inside so that you could just pick the whole thing up and literally dump it out in your washer and, and also wash the bag. But I just have a plastic bag in here and then I got it because you need to have some kind of airflow uh, for your family cloth. You don't wanna get like a lid, like you know the lid where you put your foot down on it and it opens. I wouldn't recommend something like that because you want it to be able to breathe. It's gonna be less smelly. Um, less chance of growing any kind of bacteria. So it's really important that you have that you have a, a lid. So this one, you know, it is kind of closed, but there's a little bit of a, a gap here. And so there's still some airflow. So I just keep that right here next to the toilet. And then I also got this at the dollar store, right? So just like a dollar. Um, it's actually one that I had. I didn't even have to go out and get it. I had this and I had the spray bottle and they both came from the dollar store, which was really cool. Um, and so the spray bottle, what this is for is, um, it's just water and then I put like three pumps of like a baby nighttime soap that I had, which you guys, you know, this video, anything you guys wanna change up here, this is just how I do it. I'm not a professional reusable cloth user <laughs> um, when it comes to toilet paper. So, you know, you guys take it with a grain of salt and do what you wanna do, but that's what I did. So. This is for if you need to spray your family cloth and you know clean up something that's maybe a number two or just you know just a, like a little bit extra um, of a clean. And then this is the the cloth that I have in here. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what my family cloth looks like. Like I said, you can use anything that you want, um, however you think that you want to do it or you want to you know what you want to use. But this is just what I've decided to use today. And this is a nine by seven piece of flannel. It's just one piece, it's not double layered. I've seen a lot of people that have made 
a double layered wipe. So they, they basically go to the sewing machine, they've got the top and the bottom to their wipe, they sew around and leave a hole, and then they turn it inside out and stitch around and then it's two layers. And that's totally fine if you guys wanna do that. I'm assuming this video is not gonna reach everybody that wants to sew, cause I was originally gonna do like how to sew your own toilet paper, but I'm like, you know what? Nobody wants to have to go out and spend extra money and buy a sewing machine and try to figure it out or borrow one or whatever. So I'm like, we're just gonna make this simple. And I wanted to make it simple too. We have a lot going on. So um, so this is, it's just one layer. And then I did go through and I stitched just a zigzag stitch all around this family cloth. And I think that will help with the fraying. This is flannel, so it is going to fray a little bit, um, but it's not gonna fray like terribly. Like if you were to use a towel, if you were to cut up an old towel, that's probably gonna fray pretty bad, but like I said, if you guys are willing to deal with it, like who cares, right? So that's what I have on the back here. And I just, I tried to make it fun for the family. So I picked out like universe, I did some gaming fabric, I did some more spaceships, and then I've got some fun stuff for mom, some llamas with flowers. But you know, I don't know if that's gonna make my family like doing this better, but it's worth a shot. So anyway, I have my family cloth set up here. So this is called, a bidet sprayer and I got this on Amazon which I will link below um, it is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen I've never had one of these I've never tried one but it took me and my husband I probably could have done it on my own I could have done it on my own but it was a whole family effort in here I was trying to get them excited about wanting to do it so he helped me install it but um, this took 10 minutes to put on the toilet it was super easy it even came with a wrench inside so I didn't need any tools it was so easy to do um, but this is such a neat feature. It, it's it's nice because if you have a number two or maybe a job where you just need to freshen up a little bit more, this will help kind of get rid of all all the number two before you need to wipe with a with a cloth. Um, so it just makes cleanup really easy. Uh, I'm really excited that I have this. And when I'm cleaning the toilet, it's really nice because I have this to kind of clean the toilet and spray the bowl out. So win win for me. So this is kind of my basic setup here. Um, you guys can can kind of modify this to whatever works for you. Try to use what you have, you know, so you don't have to leave the house and go get these kind of things. Or maybe if you can get it online, I know um, ordering things is kind of slow right now, but just find what works for you, you know, make it work. If you don't want to get the bidet sprayer, you can't afford it, or you just don't want to mess with that, then just get a spray bottle and just try to make it work with that, okay? So for the wash routine, this is really gonna be up to your personal preference. Everything that I have read, there's a few important components to it, and then the rest you guys can decide as far as your detergent, what you wanna to use to actually clean it, what chemical you wanna put in there. But the, the two biggest ones were, were a pre-soak, which some people don't even do, but I know, I know that's what I've been doing, um, is soak them beforehand. My washer allows me to set a pre-soak uh, like feature, so it will soak for 15 or 20 minutes just to kind of loosen everything up and the threads. And that's also why I made this one layer of flannel instead of two or a towel or something thicker because I want it to be able to wash out really easy. So a soak beforehand and then hot water. It's really important that you use hot water just to kill the bacteria um, and you know get all that grody stuff out. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, I will try to answer all the questions. Sometimes there's a lot and I just don't get to everybody and it's not that I don't care, but um, it's just a lot to get back to everyone. So um, yeah, and if you guys wanna see any videos on more things that we can do to kind of get through this pandemic or um, things you can do at home, some more eco alternative kind of stuff, leave a comment below or reach out to me um, through my different platforms. I'm on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. So anyways, thanks for watching and sticking around and I will see you on the next one. Bye.